in the beginning of the show, I said that sometimes we carry on getting completely seduced by the kind of technology, the innovation, the R&D and the devices that companies actually showcase to us. But we forget the stories behind all these brands. We forget that there are people that made all of this happen. And a perfect example of that is OnePlus. Now, this is a company that is, I think, run more by passion than anything else. And we're meeting the person who actually has all that passion. Pete Lau, the founder. Pete Lau, the CEO of this company. And how they took an absolutely unknown name, an unknown brand, and made it one of the most premium names, most recognized brands in the world. We're celebrating six years of OnePlus and five years of OnePlus in India. We're going to find out everything from him, from the fact that does he actually design all these phones, there is a rumor that he actually designs all the phones, to the fact that what are their future plans for India, where do they want to go, all of that happening right now. One plus. They complete five years in India, six years globally. So big things to celebrate and a big thing also to do is welcome Pete Lau. Thank you so much for coming in here. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Congratulations, six years globally, five years in India. I want to start with that. What have these five years been like for you here in India? Because India is very, very different from anywhere else in the world. We are now called the most brutal market for smartphones anywhere in the world. So how has the OnePlus journey been here in India for you in these last five years? Uh, the past five years have been the creation of a miracle for us in India. Okay. We've gone from a startup and a team that was tiny, just a startup team, into becoming the number one premium smartphone in the Indian market, which is an absolute miracle. And we've done that by just doing one thing, making the best possible product, focusing on making the best po product experience. It's against it. You know, I absolutely agree. It's actually incredible for a company to come in and become the number one brand in premium smartphones in this country, I think is a, literally, like you called it, a miracle. All right, let's move on now to another miracle, and that is this headline-making phone that I'm holding in my hand, your concept phone that you showcased at CES, and it had everybody completely and totally jaw-dropped what people now refer to as the disappearing camera phone. How important is innovation, the kind of innovation you've shown here and innovation that you constantly do for a company like OnePlus? Innovation is very much part of the OnePlus genetic makeup. And that is due to the fact that we have always pursued a better user experience. And the innovation at the core of, of, the, of the genetic makeup of the company is what pushes to create that better and better and improved user experience. Uh, what is OnePlus's stand on 5G and IoT? How will you take that forward? And like I said, very, very specific to Indian conditions. I very much agree with your point. Um, I see 5G and the potential of 5G for what it will bring as being totally life-changing for us here in India, but also globally. And our hope with this is to create a more seamless experience for users in what we look at as the key uh, environments of connectivity across the connected experience of a user. And there are four of those from on the go, in the home, in the office, and in the car or transportation. So increasing the seamless connectivity between those will help increase the uh, value and the seamlessness of the user experience. Taking from that, I think one of the most interesting things that we are seeing with OnePlus is the fact that you now seem to think India is not just important as a market, but also a place where extreme R&D, innovation, and the way the governments are actually coming about. In fact, you've had a brand new announcement that just came out a few days back about the kind of collaborations you're doing with uh, various governments and various things that you're doing in India. Can you tell us a little bit more about your R&D center in India and this new announcement? Uh, yes, I, I see us in the Indian market and 5G in particular as a unique um, position for both the manufacturing of OnePlus 5G devices for global markets, but also a key base of research and development for all of the OnePlus 5G devices and 5G strategy going forward. 
So, you know, we just spoke about everything that they're doing in Hyderabad and how OnePlus is completely committed to the Indian consumer. This is actually the proof of that. We took a visit down to their Hyderabad R&D center. We love it when a solid startup disrupts a market which has plenty of big names. OnePlus is one such name and the Chinese phone maker now enters its sixth year in India and from what we can gauge, the company is committed towards achieving long-term growth in India. The smartphone brand has a research and development centre in Hyderabad to manufacture locally in line with the Make in India strategy. It currently employs 300 people and has recently hired 75 campus employees. OnePlus aims to reach 1,000 employees by the end of 2020, making this OnePlus's largest R&D center worldwide. In August 2019, the company announced its plans to invest 1,000 crore rupees into the R&D facility in Hyderabad over the next three years. The R&D center will house three labs, a camera lab, communications and networking labs, and automation labs. The facility will focus heavily on camera development, 5G testing, and performance testing. With six years of successful marketing and product development, it's evident that OnePlus is ready for the next decade. A new flagship killer is coming soon. One of the big rumors is that almost every single new OnePlus phone is personally designed by you. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Flat, simple, straightforward, I've got a yes. But design, is it really, really important, that important to you? Yes, definitely. For me, design is something of the utmost importance and a thing that I am part of in the creation, in the birth, and in the development of each OnePlus device. I've heard that there's a personal initiative that you were really, really very passionate about and you're looking into it personally, and that is the Red Cable Club. It's a community, I think, that you're trying to build. How is it different from the typical communities that any other brand builds? You already have a huge fan base. What's different about the Red Cable community? The focus with our Red Cable Club is looking at how we can create a different uh, value through the internet connected experience of particularly a user base that's very young and very internet centric. So that, that can create value for them across a spectrum of lifestyle aspects where the internet is relevant and not just uh, traditional promotions or offerings. What's the future roadmap for OnePlus specially to do with India? Following our vision that we just discussed of creating a more seamless experience and through that more seamless experience creating greater value for users, that will be our key focus going forward. If we look, for example, at our recent start into the TV industry and creating a smart TV, that is the start of creating a seamless experience and connectivity between the smartphone device and the smart TV in the home space. And so additionally going forward, we will be looking at areas where there is a need for that improved seamlessness and connectivity in key areas of mobile connectivity. The consistent thing that will remain is we will always have a focus on a premium experience and creating a better user experience for uh, users across the world. I cannot go without asking you this particular question. This is an important one for me. I know that eventually you will make a folding phone. My only question is, Will we see a folding phone from OnePlus in 2020? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for speaking with us. Congratulations again, and thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.